Hey guys, welcome back to Tinanfa. Today video, I will guide you through how to run an Aptos full node using Docker. It's quite fast. Uh, now go to this page. Uh, I will put the link of this page in the video description. You can check it out. And you see a route to using Docker. Full node using Aptos source or Docker. So please notice that uh, the CPU uh, spotted only now is just uh, 86, x86 86 and 64 CPU, not uh, ARM CPU. So please notice this CPU. Uh, notice that if your uh, CPU is compatible to run this full node or not. We have uh, several steps here to install the full node. Okay, let's uh, log in to our VBS using SSH root Enter the password Now you are connected to, the, to your VBS server First you have a uh, update our VBS first uh, I already wrote an article how to run an app task full node using Docker. You can check it out on my blog uh, about uh, the hardware requirement and which uh, VBS should we choose to run this full node. Okay, you can check it out. Now we will update our VBS server here. And let it run. Next, we will install unzip jb. And then we will be ready to install Aptos full node using Docker. Okay, now it's done. Install unzip. Okay, now we ready to install docker the first step okay just use this use this command hit enter again and now we are ready to uh, install next uh, step 2 uh, create a directory directory for your local public node and cd into it okay so we will use this command and now we cd to the directory next we will create another folder and download three files of these three files okay Use this command, hit copy and paste here and hit enter. Now, you ls, you, you see there are three files and a data folder. And finally, you start a full node via Docker. But please read this uh, first. You have to open the box and update the uh, uh, this to uh, for your node can listen to on address and API address. Okay, so just uh, go here. We will open the port using this. And hit enter. And hit Y. Enter. Now replace this using this. And now you can replace uh, this with this. So we use uh, replace uh, here control, and here we will use this command, and you tie in 127.0.0.1. Hit enter and tie with o dot o dot o dot o and enter and hit A to replay on 
and it said replace two occurrence occurrences. So and then we hit Control O to save the file, and we Control X to exit. Now we have to install Tmux to keep uh, your node running and install Tmux, and then you ready. And like we will count Tmux using this Tmux here, and it will open a window like this. And finally, we ready to start our full node file Docker using this. Or you can copy it here. You paste it and you enter. Hit enter. Wait for it to running. Okay. And after it running, you can check your node health here using aptos hyphen node dot info and just enter the IP address here enter IP address here to check it and now and now your app.node node is okay and everything's fine yes and you are you uh, complete it uh, you are and now you complete uh, running an aptos full node with docker now you can uh, check the another information about verify the correctness of your full nodes and you can see here you can use the command to check the version here and you can check on the aptos status page here but this way I think is it doesn't work now for now and optionally you can verify our connection if the connection is returned to zero then it means you not cannot connect to the aptos blockchain okay and also know you can examine the docker ledger site using this command and as upstream system here if uh, if the uh, after devnet is experiencing a high network connection value you have to manual at the uh, system peers using this by uh, config the full node uh, dot yml okay and next i will tell you how to update this full node using docker and if you build from docker you have to set out your node here if you want to uh, get out of this tmux you will use the command control b you have to hit the control b at the same time and then you let go and then you hit D to detect this TSMOOC window ok so let's hit control B at the same time and hit D and now you are detect from the session 0 ok and when you want to uh, when you want to uh, attack that TSMOOC again you have to use TSMOOC attack to zero and you are the you are attached to attached to that window and now we detect that into D control and B the same time and D okay to shut down your full node we have to attack that command again attack that window again and we do control C and then the node will shut down you can check here is the not show up any green line green so it's not connected and next we have delete the entire directory we call your full node config and that's our directory it means that you have to 
uh, go back detect this entropy and D to detect this and you LS you have to delete all of this uh, all of this folder all of this thing on this folder and you have to rerun the instruction using docker here by uh, download this create a data photo download this and run this again you can check that if your node is updated you can use docker image to see that your image is the latest one it's called the latest one was created 10 hours ago so it was it is the, the latest one you can check in the discord about recently updated footnote and that is as how we can run an app not footnote using docker and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe button and see you in the next video But here I am Cause I'm laying on